And now, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. And yes, welcome to the Consumer Quarterback Show, all about helping you understand your buying decisions, making you more street smart here on the show, as we always do. And uh, we like to help you as your consumer advocate. Saber Hotline number, reach out, anything you need. Uh, we'd love to connect with you uh, and connect you to our 80 different categories of consumer advocates here in Tampa Bay. Uh, we're talking about real estate professionals, um, all types of great attorneys, CPAs, financial advisors, folks that can help you uh, in your daily life. Uh, you know, things that you come up during your day, uh, you know, hey, we've got those expert contributors that are well-versed in those areas. So save the hotline, 813-917-1894. You can give us a call or a text, 813-917-1894. You used to call me on my cell phone. And consumerqb.com, online at consumerqb.com. We'd like to help you win there as well and we got a great lineup for you today just a moment here we're gonna have doug levi uh, on the program he's our insurance expert contributor uh coming up on the show uh, also i uh, want to introduce you to neil uh, balkinson uh real estate college he's a founder of real estate college so we're gonna have him give a teaser of what he's gonna talk about uh feel good story of the day a man photo bombs his girlfriend uh for a month by taking engagement ring pictures without her noticing so a pretty cool story coming up for you in our feel good segment of the day and uh yeah we'll probably play a couple clips about twitter there's so much going on around free speech and twitter so we got a couple clips for you uh relating to that before we jump into it we like to feature our real estate listings live on air we help our sellers profit more and sell faster uh utilizing our innovations with radio tv and internet marketing uh we've got some hot listings here in tampa bay i want to start with 2817 gulf city road in ruskin this is a large property that could be developed so attention builders developers uh, entrepreneurs uh 2817 gulf city road in ruskin you've got 23 acres mol uh, we have a great opportunity for roi return on investment uh, can be subdivided into multiple lots now, this is waterfront on the Little Manatee River uh, with Gulf access, Bay access here uh, from our beautiful listing at $1.8 million at 2817 Gulf City Road in Ruskin, Hillsborough County. Great opportunity for development. Also, a commercial property here at 6361 U.S. Highway 301 South in Riverview. Now, this is a commercial property corner lot location, 50,000 vehicles a day passing by, corner lot fenced in, and you have office space up front, also mechanic shop in the back, 6361 U.S. Highway 301 South in Riverview, Florida. Uh, almost an acre of land. you got a billboard on site, commercially zoned and fenced, right on direct frontage from 301 and just a short drive to I-75 and all of the uh, expressways there. Now, you can see all of our real estate listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. Shout out to all of our soldiers out there fighting the good fight for us, keeping us free. Thank you so much for all you do. We do help veterans, first responders uh, as well with special opportunities through the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. All right, uh, Neil, let's go ahead. I'm going to introduce Neil Balkinson, Real Estate College founder. Give us a little teaser what you're going to talk about, my friend. Oh, I've been up. Uh, we're going to talk about flipping homes. That's what we're going to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to talk about making money. That's the best thing in this business, flipping homes. Brings your capital up, brings your cash flow, and make a ton of money. I love it. I love it. And and you are tried and true. You've been doing it for how many years now? I've been doing it since 2005. I have well over 600 flips under my belt. Nice. I've got over 36 properties going at the moment with six new constructions. So 36 plus six, that's what we got going on right now. Awesome. I love it. Real Estate College, we're going to talk about that opportunity as well. If you are interested in being a student, Neil can definitely help you with that. All right, we're going to the phone lines now. Doug Levi, uh, insurance expert contributor on the show. And uh, Doug, tell us what you're seeing out there in the insurance space. I know a lot of people are confused. They're saying, hey, my taxes are going up. My insurance is going on, uh, going up. What's going on here? Yeah, Brandon, uh, great day, Tampa Bay. Merry Christmas. We're in that season, so trying to count our blessings for sure. But, it's yeah, it's a challenging time. And uh, really to share right now, one of the biggest things that's going on is 
there's a special session of Congress here in Florida coming up next week. So uh, I know we talked a little bit before the show, Brandon, and I just made a post on Facebook even about this with contact information for uh, people's leaders out there. So we're looking at your senators, your congressmen, your governor. Everyone is rallying in Tallahassee, and they're going to spend a week from the 12th to the 16th, a special session of Congress called by Governor Ron DeSantis to try and address the property insurance really crisis. It really is, Brandon. I don't use that word lightly. You know, um, we've we've talked before, but I've been in the insurance business for almost 20 years. I feel like an old man now, Brandon. Um, <laughs> right out of college, I've been in the insurance business. I'm 43. I've been in it since I was 23. And it's the hardest, most challenging market we've ever seen. And you probably don't need to be an insurance agent to know that if you're a Florida homeowner or a Florida business owner uh, that, that has building insurance. So the rates have just gotten uh, incredibly high. Uh, we are the most expensive state in the country for insurance. And really, the, the bigger issue, Brandon, we're seeing is, is, is so many carriers aren't wanting to write. So, you know, insurance and real estate is very closely linked. Insurance, mortgages, real estate, all of this kind of goes together to really drive the economy. Something you've talked about several times on air, Brandon, is, you know, real estate is such a great driver of the economy. Think about when someone buys a house, they normally get lawn service and buy furniture and, you know, do all the different things that, that happen when you buy a home. So right. <clears throat> if you don't have insurance, or you can't afford your insurance, you're not going to be able to get your mortgage. You're not going to be able to close on your home. So that's where a real, real issue lies. And, you know, it's not uncommon for us seeing clients having 40, 50, 60, 70 percent or more rate increases um, oh, wow. with very, very limited options. So, you know, I think the, the message would be right now uh, for those that are listening that are like, man, I really I know my own insurance is very expensive and I want to do something about it. I would encourage you to reach out, reach out to your local congressman, your local senator, uh, your state senator, and, and even Governor DeSantis. All this info is very easy to find online. Let them know the concerns you have. We need to continue to put pressure on, frankly, our leaders to try mm-hmm. and enact some reforms that are going to make a difference. Um, yeah, it's and important. we can talk about that in a minute, but yeah. That's right. It's absolutely important. You know, and right now it couldn't couldn't come at a worse time for, you know, the, the, if, if you look at Biden's economy, you look at the inflation, you look at jobs, you look at uh, all of the, the different struggles that homeowners are, are going through, credit card debt at an all-time high. Uh, there, I mean, there's a lot of people that I'm looking at different studies where it's talking about the – uh, propensity for people to have their electric turned off during the winter, especially in some of the northern states. You know, people are people are going to be hurting, and, and this just adds to that. Uh, you know, of course, in Florida, it's a different game. We're, we're talking about, you know, the, the insurance, property casualty insurance being something that's uh, a super, you know, challenge lately. Uh, and it's kind of been ongoing, actually, for a while. But it's, it's a challenging time for homeowners and, and people that are just trying to put food on their plates and keep their children, you know, fed. And it's, it's a tough time for consumers out there, Doug. Yeah, no doubt. And I'll just, we've talked about some of this before, but, and I did, we talked, Brandon, I posted this on Facebook and, and uh, we, we put together our state association. So Florida Association of Insurance Agents is very similar to like, you know, the Florida Association of Realtors or, or different, different organizations of, you know, we're, we're kind of the front lines, right? We see this stuff every day. So from our perspective, some things that need to be done and, one of the things we've talked about is that, you know, 80% of all litigated property insurance claims in the United States happen here in Florida. Mm-hmm. And, you know, here was a statistic I just read on, on this note. So from 2013 to 2020, so about a seven-year period, Florida insurance companies paid $15 billion with a B, okay, in claims costs, all right? Out of that $15 billion, only 8% went to consumers. 70% wow. of that went to attorneys. Wow. So let's just think about that for a second here, right? Again, I want to reiterate some of that. So the study that was done said from 2013 to 2020, so about a seven-year period, Florida insurance companies here, homeowners insurance companies in the state of Florida, paid $15 billion in claims costs. Out of that, only 8% went to the customer, to the consumer, mm-hmm. to the insurer. Over 70% went to the attorneys. Now, wow. look, I'm not here to throw our attorney friends under the bus, but there's an imbalance there. 
something is off. Right. And, and one of the things they talk about are one-way attorney fee statutes, which really can incentivize frivolous litigation with no risk to the attorneys, and they benefit financially at the detriment of the consumer. So I would say if there were any magic pill, I think that's one of the biggest ones that I'm really hoping the state steps up and takes a hard stand and, and gets rid of the one-way attorney fees because, yeah. again, when you think through those numbers <clears> – <throat> It's, the, the, there's there's something really really wrong there, well, and, there and again, <clears throat> you know that's not helping the consumer. Yeah, there definitely is. There needs to be there, there needs to be some type of a cap in place, uh, or exactly. some type of structure to where you know there's a round one and then round two. I remember when I had an auto accident, there was something along those lines that you know, mm-hmm. well, if you if you don't accept this offer, which you know the judge may deem as a reasonable offer, then you're going to have to go to a round two, or then you you have the the uh, possibility. I believe I can't remember the details on it, but it was something like you know of of paying having to pay different fees or you know something along those lines but it needs to be stacked in the favor of the consumer and away from these insurance companies uh and and the attorneys that are involved uh because i think that's where you know you see that negativity that comes about in uh the consumer space i mean hey look we just want we just want common sense rules common sense laws and you know something that's going to help our economy recover because right now and what was the other stats uh doug you were telling me i mean that's an outstanding number 15 billion in claims eight percent going in consumers what was the other stats though about the actual number of suits happening in florida it was some crazy number yeah so again the the other part is if we just look at the whole country and we say okay out of the entire country mm-hmm. anytime a, a homeowner tries to sue their home insurance company over a claim basically saying something's wrong you did me dirty, I'm going to sue the insurance company, right? Yep. 80% of all of those claims out of the whole United States happen here in Florida. Right. 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 So, again, just think about mm. that, right? The imbalance there, you've got large states like Texas, California, New York. I mean, you know, on a percentage basis, Florida, I don't, I don't know exactly, but I would imagine counts for maybe 10% or less of the total U.S. population, but 80% of the claims for the entire country in these litigated scenarios are happening here in Florida. And again, that just shows that there's a tremendous imbalance, and if anything, there's incentives in place, frankly, for some of these attorneys to really take advantage of the system. And that's really what we've seen, you know, unfortunately. That's really what we're seeing. And so, and again, I'll be the first to say, does it mean that, you know, there's not a time and a place where you may need an attorney, and there may be something truly wrong, but when we see the numbers that far off and when I hear how little is actually going back to the consumer, that most right. of this is going to pay attorney's fees, you've just got to scratch your head and say, you know what, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be something else. Why is Florida facing this type of a challenge but other states aren't? Yeah, uh, absolutely. All right, let's <laughs> go. we're going to take a quick break, but uh, when we come back, I want to talk to you about a little bit happening in the free speech realm uh desantis on twitter i want to get his comments on twitter and what happened recently also uh maybe jump into that with apple and the ccp uh doug levi strategic insurance here on the consumer quarterback show tampa bay insurance.com consumer qb.com and we'll be right back more with doug levi coming up hey everybody it's the captain matt bruce and you're listening to my buddy brandon rhymes a consumer quarterback sell brandon sell <laughs> you're listening to the consumer quarterback brandon rhymes Cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And we're back. Brandon Rimes here. Consumer Quarterback Show. Top 100 ranked real estate team here in Tampa Bay. Keller Williams Realty helping you win when you sell your real estate listings. we got a couple of hot listings here in Tampa Bay. Uh, I've got a hot property in uh, Palm Harbor. This one's 1307 Normandy Circle in Palm Harbor. Great opportunity to own property got a pool home right here on a corner lot uh this is a large executive style home corner lot location you have a canal as well so you got kind of a water feature there with a a small creek slash canal uh beautiful home here it's three bedrooms two bath two car garage 2600 square feet uh with a pool private backyard no rear view neighbors and a lot to offer at this beautiful home owners motivated got a new ac new floors and updated lighting as well at 1307 normandy circle in palm harbor 
one of the hottest areas in all of Tampa Bay, Palm Harbor, Dunedin, a uh, great area to uh, purchase and buy real estate at. All right, how about uh, 7014 Crown Lake? Uh, this is another property that we've got listed here. Uh, this is a an opportunity out in Gibsonton, Florida, Hillsborough County, 1,800 square feet. There's no CDD and a low HOA fee. Uh, three bedrooms, two and a half bath, gorgeous staircase, uh, new AC units, granite countertops, and the home has owner's pride shining through it. Beautiful home here at 7014 Crown Lake Drive in Gibsonton, Florida, Hillsborough County. You can see all of our real estate listings at platinummvpteam.kw.com. This is God's country. All right, we got Doug Levi in the house. Uh, Doug, wanted to get a quick clip here from DeSantis on, on uh, Twitter. So while the White House may be standing against Twitter, the company is finding some support among Republicans. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis had this to say. That would be a huge, huge mistake, and it would be a really raw exercise of monopolistic power that I think would merit a response uh, from, from the United States Congress. For Musk's Another part, connected story here is Elon Musk beginning to release what are being called the Twitter files. What new information have we actually learned so far with what's been released? So the big change is that we have actual evidence that there was a widespread and coordinated campaign involving also Democrats in the Biden campaign to wrongfully suppress the very important news story about the Biden family business. The New York Post had put this out and they were unable to publish on various social media platforms. You couldn't even share this uh, through direct messages. We already knew that, but now with these documents, we know how many high-level people were involved and how they tried to justify this and how poor it looks in retrospect. Yeah, and so it's interesting to see how this is playing out. You've got a, a huge uh, multi, multi-billion dollar company in Twitter, uh, you know, essentially colluding with the federal government days before an election and uh, censoring the fourth large, I think the New York Post is the fourth largest newspaper in the country, censoring their uh, articles, not letting people share this information. Uh, and then also a step further, you think about Apple. Here's another example uh, they took away the airdrop feature of their phones in china uh, when the chinese people were rising up um, i haven't followed it that closely hey look i'm a full-time realtor here uh, but i do read the news and listen to the news but doug it's just un it's unprecedented it's unbelievable and it's unfair a lot of this stuff happening out there yeah and i hate to say this and be silly but when i hear that i kind of say duh like, yeah, I kind of knew that some of yeah. these big tech companies aren't playing fair, right? And yep. and, and I say that as, as a proud uh, evangelical Christian conservative, but someone who just believes in free speech. I think our friends on the left deserve the, the, their free speech, uh, you know, that's built into the Constitution as well. But it just, that's right. uh, you know, look, we could have a whole episode on Elon Musk, right? Interesting guy, and, and, and just you got to credit him on some of the things he's done from a business perspective and moving things forward. But... Uh, it, it's it's nice to know that they're releasing some of this data because hopefully it puts pressure in a positive way uh, on, on some of the things that happen in in the media, right? I, I mean, I go back a few years, Brandon, I, and I, I don't remember all of it, but you know, high level, it was something like right before campaign or election. I want to say, and maybe this was like 2016 or 2020. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. There was reports that Google, uh, like the people that they knew were associated with the Democratic Party, Party were getting way more emails encouraging them to go out and vote, and things were getting through from politicians that were sending emails oh, yeah. compared to our conservative friends, where maybe those emails weren't getting through or they were landing in their spam you know, or their junk mail and all that. And again, some of these things where you just – you hear enough smoke and you've got to say, is there a fire there? And then – when you layer on top of that, the the statements that are coming from some of the top brass at these tech companies that we know are very left leaning and very uh, you know democratic in their views, and then mm -hmm. you just put it all together and you say, you know, where does this all end? And 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 frankly, what can our government do in a positive way to make sure that that free speech is honored on both sides of the aisle? Yeah. Right. I mean, that's what we need. Um, Absolutely. So I, it, you know, yeah. 
And there needs to be something also for uh, against the people. Remember, there were supposedly 51 military experts and veterans and generals that came out and said this is the hallmarks of, of Russian disinformation. There needs to there needs to be something that says, oh, wait, well, you said this. Now we're going to revoke your security clearance and you're never going to be taken seriously again. But it doesn't well, but, happen because if you have the establishment, you have the deep state. But uh, anyway, well, back to local, how we can help people locally here. Doug Levi uh, here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Strategic Insurance. Uh, Doug, you help people with all of their different insurance needs, but also uh, you have this unique side hustle. I think as we were talking with people uh, hurting their wallets, their bank accounts are hurting. Uh, you have a side hustle for folks that maybe want to get into uh, the insurance game as a side hustle. Yeah, absolutely. So we started insurancesidehustling.com, and that's just all spelled out, insurancesidehustling.com, uh, almost three years ago, Brandon, and really nice. the whole goal is to try and help people get into the insurance business to sell home and auto insurance part-time and remote uh so we take people all the way whether if you're currently licensed and you're looking just for some part-time maybe you were in the insurance business in the past now you're doing something else you still have a license great we'd love to talk to you or the person who's like you know what i've never been in the insurance business but yes i get that i tell people all the time it's a huge need everyone budgets for it and a lot of it is still handled through local independent agents, right? There's, there's certainly online channels and direct channels. But, again, even talking, so we were just talking about most homeowners insurance in the state of Florida, you have to go through an agent. You can't just go online and do it direct, frankly, because of the complexity of it. So mm -hmm. it's a great opportunity for people to really engage. You know, we tell people if you can help 10 families a month with their home and auto insurance, you can make about $40,000 working part-time. Um, you know, so that's not bad money working part time uh, and really meeting a, a true need out there in the marketplace and in the economy. So anyone that's interested in that, we'd love to talk to you. Like I said, you can go right to our website. You can set time to talk with myself or one of my team and uh, we'll be happy to help. That's insurancesidehustling.com. That's right. Insurance side hustling .com, all spelled out. Yeah, I love that. I think people more and more these days are looking for those side hustles that, uh, you know, part time, uh, you know, whether it's something they love or they want to put time into or selling selling products online uh, that, you know, the, before think about 20 years ago, our grandparents, you know, that our parents, they, they didn't have these opportunities that were afforded. So so many people take it lightly that, hey, after I come home from my nine to five job. What are you doing from 7 to 11 that night, right? Some people say, oh, well, I want to I, I want to make more money. I want better things in life. I, I want to increase my, uh, you know, station in life. But they don't do anything about it. You know, now you can. You have the Internet. You have all these different capabilities you have. But it takes discipline. You know, that's the difference. It takes discipline. You've got to have the discipline. And it all starts with that. You know, the ability to make yourself do what you should do, whether you feel like it or not. And you, too many people let their feelings get in the way. But insurance, side hustle. Com. Keller Williams also has a part-time uh, real estate uh, agent opportunity as well. Uh, it's a free class. You can take K-Score. It's a free online class. Get your licensing done. Get your fingerprints. Go to the state. Pass the test. Boom. Now you're a realtor. So you can refer business in. You don't have to work the deals start to finish. You could simply refer deals in. Uh, so that's a really cool opportunity that we have also with Keller Williams. A uh, great opportunity. So there you go, folks. Two side hustles for you, <laughs> insurance and real, and, uh, uh, hey, real estate. The price one. Absolutely. And they go well together. One last thing I want to mention, Brandon, with the idea that Real you know, quick. it's the holidays. Ten, ten seconds, fifteen seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then I just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. How about that? Sorry we about that. Yeah. Merry, <laughs> we can still say Merry Christmas on this program. We I can. Know Merry that. Christmas. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Very Merry Christmas and a healthy and happy, happy New Year. Year and happy, yeah. uh, you know, to all of our friends out there. Thank you so much, Doug. Appreciate you. Good stuff. Always good talking to you. God bless, Brandon. God bless. All right. Taking a quick break. Coming back, we got Neil Balkin soon on the program, Real Estate College, talking about side hustling again. Here's a great opportunity. Learn how to flip real estate. Learn how to, to invest in real estate. Uh, we're going to talk to an expert that's done over 600 flips in his time. We'll be right back here. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. Please make sure to send him all of your real estate deals and subscribe to the Consumer Quarterback Show podcast on iTunes and Spotify. Or check out our YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-917-1894. Online at ConsumerQB.com.